So, if I understand this right, they're talking about a projectile while it's in the air. This is Y, this is X. They're calling this zero. They're calling that T1. And they're calling that T2, right? So, at max height, basically. And what do they want? They want... Um, hi, Mr. Hare. He's in the screencast. Um, they want... A velocity at one. A velocity at X. Okay, so they want V1X. What else do they want? V1Y. 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 And A1X. A1X. And A1Y. Well, we know what A1X and Y are. Y. Okay. We know what A1X and... Or A1Y You are. You know it. You know it. Um, v naught. So this is, these that were given from the previous problem. V naught X equals V naught Y equals um, A naught Y equals A naught X equals. All right, so V naught X we got was 15. Mm -hmm. V naught Y we got 26. Yeah. For acceleration for A, for A1, Y was always negative 9.8. Okay, okay, good. And A1 X is so, zero. So, up is positive, and to the right is positive. <coughs> A naught Y is negative 10 mm -hmm. meters per second. X Actually, we want negative 9.8 probably for this. I bet you they want negative 9.8. Yeah, negative 9.8. Yeah. And then A naught A, A X we put as zero. Okay. All right. So you want to find this one's easy. What's that one? Which one? B1X, it's always... Zero. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. It's a, if that's a constant, then it would be 15. Yeah, So, because that never changed. Okay. So what do you think V1Y is? Do you know how to find it? Well, the easiest way, I think, is the equation on your equation sheet. VY equals v naught y plus AYT. Oh, and I don't have the That's the first equation on your kinematics equation sheet. Okay. And it's set up to find velocity. I'll just change, yeah, right? I'll change that to V1Y. So V1Y is going to be, what is our V0Y again? V0Y is 26. 26 meters per second. Is it positive or negative? It's positive. According to our convention, it's up, which is positive, plus acceleration is 9.8. Negative 9.8. Good. I was waiting for you to say that. I was going to mess it up intentionally, see if you notice. All right. T, we, T, we don't know. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, we don't. T's never no, given. No, no, T's never given. Okay. So we have to scroll back to the other one and then do another I don't think we're thinking about it correctly. What do you guys, you guys remember the motion map I did today? Yeah, about the plane. Which way is this thing moving? It's so horizontal, it's always going in the same Does it have any Y velocity at this moment in time? Well, that's what I'm seeing that earlier. No, Remember this no, part What was here. I doing here? <laughs> so... Could that mean V1Y the, is zero? Yeah, this is zero, is zero. And we could actually find time this way. We could find how much time it takes if we wanted to. Right? So that's just yeah. minus 26. 26 meters per second minus 9.8 meters per second squared times t. So we could find that time, but we don't need it here. So I'll just write zero. What's now, A1x? A1x is going to be zero as well. It's always constant. constant. This is a cool problem. And then What's A1y? A1y, A1y if, it, if A1y is zero, that means when it also be zero then? You guys negative are freaking, no, wait, no, wait, freaking nine, me out. Negative nine, nine, Sorry. <laughs> Damn. It's okay, oh, dude. Right. No, I, I think this is a good problem. I, I think it's got to oh, be right. it right there. Sorry, Acceleration is always the same for I this the wrong thing. thing. Good. And non, non less of the air resistance. Good. Uh, that one. That should be one of the choices. <laughs> yeah. We good. No.